Hello and welcome to the first challenge video I've decided to do. Today the challenge has been submitted by Wench Bane, friend of mine, good guy, Bane of all wenches. Uh, he has challenged me to complete this level in Hitman Blood Money, it's the murder of crows. I must kill all three targets while wearing a bird suit with a kitchen knife. Uh, I can't be detected and I have to do it on professional. So it's been a while since I played Blood Money. Uh, and this is one of the harder levels I, I remember correctly. So since I can't use guns or anything, I, all I brought with me was the basic equipment. Uh, obviously like the upgrades and that you can't get rid of, so. Uh, don't remember everything about this level but I did do just a quick run through it before this on easy just to get the layout of the place again. Uh, for those of you who don't know on professional you get little to no help from the game. Uh, you get detected a lot faster, the computers are a lot smarter, you get very little information on the map like that white circle there is the guy that I have to stop from getting killed and other than that I get no information. Uh, this guy that I'm following right now in the red bird suit is a bag man. He is here to pay the assassins to murder. I want to say he's like a, like a mayor or something. Oh shit, he saw me. But not detected. God, where's the door? Drag that in. Okay, so not detected yet. He saw me, but uh, he didn't alert anyone. So we'll just drag him over here. Uh, and if I remember correctly, there is a cop that walks through there every once in a while. So thankfully he apparently was taking his time this time. I remember that being a giant pain in the butt. Oh, pick that up. Uh, because not only will it obviously alert them if they see the body, but he will also uh, confiscate the briefcase here. And then you have to get into the cop shop to do it. I don't want to place anything. That's fine. Uh, you don't technically need the diamonds briefcase to end the level, but... Oh, wait a minute. I want my uh, outfit now. So here you go. I will use this bird suit, I guess. <clears throat> Makes the most sense. Uh, oh, and there's one of my targets. Unfortunately, don't have the kitchen knife yet because he's actually in the perfect position right now to uh, see salsa bar. Uh, okay. Now I don't think uh, there's too many ways to uh, get a kitchen knife. Like there's one in each place here, but like that, oh, and yeah. But as you can see the chef doesn't like you being there. Okay, I'll try a different one then. I know there's one that's really easy to get the knife. Oh, now she's there. I want to say it's the one at the beginning, the blues bar. Another way, a very easy way to do this level is to dress as the, uh, waiter because there's one guy who uh, one of the targets is in one of the three bars but you don't know which bar he's in unless you take out one of the other people like if I took out that chick there and picked up her walkie-talkie it would just tell me which bar he was in uh, or you can just guess because there is only three bars and if you take out the red bird dude here 
Uh, he never delivers the payment, and the assassins never take the shot. But, uh, and then you have just infinite time to accomplish your goal. Okay, well, he's looking the other way. Kitchen knife. And, oh, fuck, and he saw me. In this one here, hopefully this isn't the one that the guy is in, because it's the harder one to get to him, because at the top of the stairs, there's a waiter making out with some chick. And, uh, they don't like you being upstairs, because you're obviously not supposed to be there. So, uh, if he's in that one, it makes it a little bit harder because you have to go in there, get caught, leave, so that it uh, gets them on a different pattern. Okay, let's see. Now I have to find that chick again. She was over there. What is her pattern again? I know she ends up walking through most of these back alleys. Uh, this one... This one isn't a very good one to get her in though. Cause it takes time to do the kill animation and then you have to drag the body away and there is another cop who walks through here who is pretty much in sync with her. Uh, I know that if you knock her out in here, you have enough time, you can actually drag her over to this corner here. And <laughs> for some reason, the cop walking through, I think it's because he comes from the right and comes through there, so he doesn't look that way, but he won't see her over there. Okay, yeah, she's not here. And then uh, the other alley over here is where you can get a very easy accident kill on her. Oops, that's not it. Yeah, see that cop there is a patrol path. But yeah, you can catch her in here and you can drop that piano on her because who doesn't just suspend a piano from a thing uh, for no reason. But you can't really take her out with a knife here because of these two gentlemen who never leave. Uh, but killing her first isn't the most important thing because this guy here is still probably the hardest dude to take out. Now, since I'm in a red bird suit and not a yellow one, these guys don't really care about me. As you can see, I'm a little bit detected, uh, but they don't really care. Oh, there we go. But obviously, if like you start bumping into them and stuff, then they'll start caring more. Uh, when you walk up behind them, they get suspicious of you. If you go into sneak mode, they won't notice that you walked up behind them, but uh, it's not, you know, if they see you in sneak mode, then they get suspicious because who wouldn't? Now this guy walks in and out of the room with the target. The one target is in that room. Nope, oh fuck, he saw me take it out. Shit. Okay, gotta restart. And unfortunately, I'm professional. There's no saves, so if you fuck it up, you have to go right back to the beginning of the level, which is a giant pain in the backside. And that's why this is actually a challenge. Like, doing this on easy would be, in, or even on normal, would be insanely easy because you could just save right before you try something like I did, and uh, you'd be done. Like... That's it, like, you fuck it up like that, you just reload the save, and you're good to go. <sighs> Come on, finish talking. Uh, but yeah, there's... Taking out this guy is really the only way to, uh, stop the guy from dying and take away the timer for this level. Because if you go and kill the guy in the bar, he's supposed to be the sniper who takes out the mayor or whoever it is, the governor. The guy, that guy. Uh... But if he doesn't take the shot, then that guy in the building we were just in will. So one way or another, the guy's going to get taken out. Uh, so you either have to take out the bag man or take out two of the three targets quickly. So it's just so much easier to take out this guy and be done with it. Because then you have an infinite amount of time because they never receive their payment and they never take the shot because... You know, like most assassins, I guess, they don't do anything without receiving their payment first. 
Oh, I guess a lot of... Mm. I imagine a lot of assassins probably have like a half up front and half after completion because they wouldn't want to do it without anything but I imagine that their clients wouldn't want to do it or wouldn't want to pay them probably what I'm assuming is an insane amount of money without the target being taken care of. Oh. Yes, I am behind you. Okay, so the door is across the house. You move super slow when you're sneaking, unfortunately. It's, it really sucks. Because it takes you so long and they all walk faster than you. So unfortunately, this video will probably have a lot of restarts. I may end up cutting some of them out though. Because uh, it does become quite a pain, especially this opening part because I really need this guy, but he always stops here, talks, and then walks. There's actually two entrances to that alleyway that he takes. One of them takes him like right next to the door that you can drag him into to hide his body, and then the other one, which is the one he's used twice now, uh, doesn't it actually takes him straight across the corner away from it? Shit, where the hell is he going here? Oh, okay. I don't ever remember him going this way. He must be going into that alley with the old guys, maybe? Hope not. Because I don't know if I can take him out there. Uh, I don't know where he actually makes the drop because he gives the money to the chick target and uh, I don't remember whether he does that in a specific alley or just when their paths cross it activates it I don't remember never actually let him get to her oh he's not going in there all right maybe he's just taking like a very maybe he's just doing like his route backwards or something one nice thing about this level though is this crowd of people in the middle is all considered uh, cover, so like you can, it, technically you're hiding. Oh, okay, he's going here. Now unfortunately on professional, he does. Oh, and now he's gonna smoke. All right, well you have, you smoke. Oh, and he's leaving already. All right, that was weird. Uh, maybe when I walked by, it broke his animation and got him to continue. Come on, don't go left. Damn it. I have no idea what he's doing. I don't recall him ever doing this, but I may have just restarted if I saw him go in a different direction. Well, maybe he's going to make the drop already. That would be bad. Because if he walks in there, there's way too many dudes to get away with taking this guy out. Oh, come on, stick to the left. Stick to the left. Oh, don't go talk to the yellow guys. You don't want to talk to the yellow guys. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Shit, I'm going to have to restart. Yeah, that's it. He's I'm um, fucked. Okay, so if he goes the wrong way, I got to just instantly restart. That sucks. Yeah, Mark Pira, yeah, the second. I think there's like three or four of those guys. They're clones, like 47, but lesser quality or something. And uh, I want to say you kill at least two of them in this game. And maybe one of them in a previous one. I don't remember. I know you kill at least two of them in this game because you kill this one and then the final level or the second last level, depending on how you look at it. Uh, has the third, but I don't 
remember if the first one is in this I game or not. He might be in a different one. Okay, Birdman, go to the left. Thank you. It's much, con it's very kind of you. Much obliged. Go around the float. Thankfully, this game has a very uh, easy disguise system. Like for anybody who's played this one and then played Absolution, you'll notice that in this game, if you find the right disguise, you're completely invincible. Like nobody will ever detect you, no matter what you're really doing, unless you do something insanely obvious, like rip out, like whip out a gun and start shooting people. Whereas in Absolution, you put on a costume and everybody that has the same outfit as you can tell that you're not the right person from across the room in the middle of a thunderstorm. I don't know why thunderstorm. Say blizzard. Like they will immediately know that it's not you and that you don't belong and raise the alert. Hi buddy. Hit my syringe. Uh, poison. Oh, fuck off. And get him. Thank you. Yeah. But like most games that... Oh, fuck off, cough. Come here. I'll punch you. Yeah, I died. Yeah. When you go into the slow motion like that, uh, if you get like three headshots or something, you'll come out of it. But on professional, it's... Uh, not only is it a lot harder because I don't think you have as much time, but if there isn't three people in front of you, obviously you're screwed. And on professional, if there's more than three people in front of you, as soon as you come out of it, you'll just instantly die again because it does that much damage. I don't remember this bird guy being such a bugger to get, but... Ugh. It's the worst part about playing these games on professional. That's why I usually play them on like normal or easy. Like, uh, I have beat this on professional for the achievement. And I did it mostly clean. I think there was only one level that I didn't get Silent Assassin on. And it was the, uh, the theater level. And that's because I did it perfectly like silent assassin and everything but for some reason at the end credits it said that there was one witness and i have no idea like i could never not get one witness like every time i did it every different way i did it i always had one witness and i could never figure out who it was like i did it a few different ways to uh eliminate the odds of somebody seeing me and i just couldn't do it I even looked up stuff online and everything that people were suggesting was just not applicable to my situation. Come on, Birdman, move. I know there's a weird bald guy following you that has a barcode tattooed on the back of his head, but I'm sure it's fine. Okay, so if he's going in there, I'll come up here, I'll hide here. Crouch down. go and that's how you do it I forgot about that might have been the strategy I used to use or I just hide behind the door and uh, okay, drag you I'll put that away because if you hide behind the door obviously you can sneak and you can start sneaking as soon as he gets past you which actually allows you to do it properly it's you know, I was doing it really wrong the first few times that's definitely the way to do it. Get the briefcase. Oh, uh. Another thing that's really nice about this game is when you go over something, you'll get, uh, when you have more than one thing you can interact with, you can actually just hold the button and get like a drop down menu of what you can do. Uh, which in Absolution, okay, uh, Bird Lady Show. I guess I need the... Where is the blue bar over there? Yeah. Oh, can't go that way. That's where the cops are. Go this way. 
Uh, but yeah, like in uh, Absolution, if there's more than one thing you can do in front of you, you're just at the mercy of the game as to which one it will let you do. Uh, whereas in this one, you can at least hold it and check. Obviously, you would need uh, time to do that. So, like, if it's in a high, uh, I don't know, like, if you're in the middle of combat or something, it doesn't really help. If you're trying to do something, like, if you're trying to run over and pick up a gun and it's next to a door, if the game gives you open door instead of pick up gun and you have to go through the menu, chances are you're dead. Just walked away from the knife. Which knife? Put that away. Okay, and now I got my knife. Got my bird suit. Time to go murder some people. Time to go murder some crows. Okay, but before I do that, take out that so that it's ready to go. Because unfortunately, when you go through the menu there that I was just in, and you select something, he immediately takes it out. So like you can't select it, but have him keep it put away so that you can just pull it out when you're ready, which is one of the very few complaints I had about this game. Uh, Cause it's very annoying. Like when I was upstairs next to that guy, I just wanted the syringe ready. But as soon as I selected it, uh, he pulled it out. And the guy saw him pull out the syringe and knew that something was up. Come on. Yeah, you've had your smoke. Go inside. Come on. Oh, you're going to get cancer from that, you know. You're going to have to remove your beak. Those are very tight pants. Or legs. Well, come on. How long does it take to smoke a cigarette? I'm blowing smoke in my face now? It's not very nice. Oh, look at that. How many birds are in this back alley? Jeez. Oh, he left. All right. So, yeah. Well. Uh. Come on. So, yeah, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to try for this guy first. Every time. Because he will be the hardest one to take out. Mainly because of this bird guy here. Like, if he goes in the room and you go in the room, uh, this guy will just go stand next to the dude and not move. Whereas, you know, I don't know why. Maybe it's, maybe it was just because I was dressed as this guy. And uh, that's what set him off. Yeah, see, when you, the, the animation for that is usually a lot more intense, I guess you could say. But since in this game here, it's actually useful to take out people closer to walls than that, because if you don't have enough space to do the full animation, like if the collision is going to fuck you up, it uh, just instantly does it. So like instead of that long animation, like with the red guy, it uh, did a short one. Okay, let's hope that he doesn't see... Close door. Oh, close it. All right. Now, hopefully, he's not suspicious because I am dressed as a bird. Okay, I'm good. Now, I just need him to go to his space. See, I think... I want to say he sits at the desk, goes and looks out the window, and then goes and stares at the couch. I don't think he even sits on the couch. I think he just stares at it. But when he's at the window, I can't take him out because it's can be seen by people like he only stands right here but for some reason it's still it like instantly gets you detected and in combat uh, yeah I'm not sure who it is who's supposed to detect you but another strategy you can use is you can go over there and there's like a tree house or the first person? like right there that you can climb up into and if you got a silent sniper rifle you can take him out from there uh, it's a useful way to take them out. Uh, the It will prevent Silent Assassin, though, because the uh, bird guy that walks into the room will obviously find his body. 
and create some havoc. Uh, let's see, can I get... Oh, I don't know if this works or not. Like, see, he's looking at me. But I don't know if it'll... Uh, like, if I pull out the knife now, I don't know if he'll immediately detect me. But if he doesn't shoot his gun, I should be fine. But also, if he detects me, I don't think it will uh, work properly. Because I don't remember if this is one of those stealth games where as soon as you're detected by one person, they all know, or if each individual person has to detect you. Oh, come on, dude. Get out. I could pull out my knife and throw it at him, but I feel like as soon as I pull out the knife, if he sees me do it, I'm screwed. Going for it. Oh, it worked perfectly. Beautiful. That's right, you're now dead. And you know what? I'm not even going to hide his body because there's no reason to. Because the only guy who would detect the body is right here. In fact, you know what? I will, just to make sure nobody sees anything. I can't believe that worked. He was totally looking at me over his shoulder. And that's the hardest guy to take out, I'm pretty sure. Like, the uh, sniper guy, as soon as you enter his room, if he sees you, he'll be suspicious and immediately hostile because he knows nobody's supposed to be up there. It doesn't matter, like, what you're dressed in it doesn't matter if you're in a bird suit it doesn't even matter if you're in one of the black bird suits that the assassins are wearing he knows you're not supposed to be there and that's that excuse me Thank you all right so now i need to find i guess i'll go for the lady because i forgot to pick up the uh the walkie talkie upstairs but that's fine the lady will have it. And even on professional, thankfully, since there's multiple places he can be, I'm pretty sure the walkie-talkie works. And as soon as you pick it up, it'll give you the location of the guy. Uh, but I'm not sure. On uh, I'm pretty sure on easy and maybe even normal, you're just given the location of the dude. Like, there's no guesswork involved like you don't even have to take out anybody else first they're just like hey he's there Let's see here so the salsa bar is there you know what i'm gonna go take out the other dude first okay well although the bird lady is harder mainly because she's always in an area that gets patrolled uh but she'll leave a yeah, okay, I'm gonna go kill the other guy first because the bird lady will leave a blood stain, which anybody patrolling through the area will be able to see and it'll raise an alert. Okay, let's see, can I open this one? There's a chef, there's the waiter. No, chef, don't. Damn it. See, they don't want me to go in there. But if I can sneak by, but I don't remember. Now, is this the one with the couple upstairs? I don't think so. No, it's not. Okay. So hopefully he's in here since I'm already here. Uh, but each one of these is laid out a little differently. Let's see, I don't... Okay, I think if he's up here, he's over there don't think he's here. At least now I hope not since I'm walking further in. Because, yeah, he's not here. Because that's where he would take the shot from if he was here. Okay, so he's not in the salsa bar. So hopefully he's in the, uh, what's the other bar? The rock bar. Hopefully he's at the rock bar. So I want to say that that one is also easy to get to where he is. Whereas in the blues bar, which is the 
closest one to the beginning. Where's the ship? Uh, oh, oh. Okay, see, he sees me, but as long as I leave, he'll leave me alone, so that's good. There we go. Uh, yeah, if you're a waiter, you can get in and out of those areas and nobody cares, and any waiter outfit, they're all the same, so you can get in and out of every bar with just any outfit. And they're relatively easy to get, uh, but I'm out of syringes and I didn't bring my gun. Because if you have a gun, you can also sneak up behind them, take them as a human shield and bop them on the head. Uh, I do believe that it counts as a detection because, you know, obviously... Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, I don't know what he's doing. Hopefully I can get in the window. Maybe he's going to go alert the cops, or maybe he's just spooked, but... Come on, get in the window, get in the window, get in the window. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm good right here. Yeah, okay, my meter's going down. He just got spooked then, because he saw a guy climbing. Come on, I'm a bird. I'm supposed to be up high. Okay, get through here. In this. Oh yeah, this is the one with like the really weird bathroom attached to the kitchen. Like I've never, I would never go to a bar that has the bathroom that close to the kitchen. Like, it's ridiculous. I'll pick the lock quickly. Thankfully I have both of the upgrades, so I pick the lock, I want to say twice as fast. Because uh, that can really catch you up in some of these levels when you need to quickly pick a lock before someone turns around. And, okay, so I don't remember the layout of this room. Well, that, okay, I remember a little bit. Because this one has multiple doors that you have to go through before you get to the window. Okay, so see there's a sniper rifle there which means he is in this room. Uh, shit, though, I don't know. Crap. Okay, well, I'll pick the lock. Do I have my knife out? Yep, okay. So where is he? Is he through the door, then? Why would he leave his sniper rifle on this... See, now at this point, on any other difficulty, I would just save the game. Because, oh, okay, there he is. Because, like, he can severely fuck me over if he just turns around. Uh, another good thing to mention is when you're sneaking up behind somebody, if you don't pick up the, uh, I don't pick up the walkie-talkie. Let's see, did that reveal the bird lady? Uh oh the streets. Aha, it did. Cool. So now I can track her. But when you're sneaking up behind somebody, if you're still in like the full stealth animation, you're not going to interact with them properly. So like when you get behind them and you're in position to stealth kill them, uh, 47 will stand up just a little bit. And that's when you know it will kill them. So like if I had hit right trigger too soon there. He just would have swung his knife at him, which may have hurt him, but wouldn't have killed him and definitely would have alerted him if it connected. Okay, let's go in here. And since the kitchen is attached to the bathroom, I'm allowed to be in this one. So that's awesome that he was in that one. Uh, definitely the easiest bar to get people. It's harder to get in without being detected uh, can I leave now? I'm just gonna go up and out. I, I think you can leave. Like, if you try and enter the bars, the cops will frisk you. Uh, I don't, but I'm not sure if, like, you leave and they didn't see you go in, if they'll be alerted or not. Oh, crap, this guy's back to have another smoke. He's gonna think I'm the weird bird guy who just climbs everything. I can wait here, though. And there's usually a drunk guy in each alley, which I'm pretty sure are just put in the game to make it harder to get the waiter outfits. Because the waiter outfit in this level is very 
very good. Because it gets you in everywhere except for the last target. So it lets you very easily just quickly search each of the bars. Because you don't have to worry about anybody detecting you during it. And like the one bar, the blues bar, with the waiter making out with the chick, you can just go stand upstairs and stare at them. And while they'll think you're weird, they'll just leave. Uh, okay, so where's the bird lady now? Okay, she's going in behind the blue bar, which... Um, trying to remember the best place to take her out, because I don't remember all the places she goes to. Like, I know she comes through here. I know she goes through the area where I took out the red guy. Uh, now, obviously, I know that she goes in behind the blues bar. But, like, yeah, see, there's a waiter having a smoke and a drunk guy over there. And I don't think there's any real areas that uh, she's completely isolated. Like, I'm pretty sure every area has at least one person. So, like, even if I took her out in there that drunk guy would walk by and even though he's wasted and in reality probably wouldn't really think twice about the uh, pool of blood on the ground, he will become alerted and go get the cops. You know, it's really weird that she doesn't have to wear the weird feet. Like everybody else has these weird, well I guess not weird, they're normal like uh, feet for a bird but uh, she just gets to wear yellow leggings and like high heels. So if you walk too close to the cops, they will start to detect you. But I don't think in, uh, unless they're already alerted by something that they'll ever like really go after you. Okay, so she's in here. Now do I just throw my knife or do I, I got to go for the melee kill. Oh, hi, lady. Let me get really close to you. Thanks. Sorry. Uh, I'm just, I'm just, oh, okay. She doesn't like it when I crouch. Sorry, I'm leaving. Bye. Damn it. Okay, it may be best just to wait. Because this looks pretty good. Uh, but see, the cop's like right there. That, that's the issue, is that cop. Because he's a giant pain in the backside for this level. Because he can walk through while you're taking out the red guy. If you take her out in this alley, he can walk through there. Oh, come on, lady, you got to move. Thank you. Uh, thankfully, I don't think I've ever seen... How did I... She's a lot harder to... Thought. Oh, because she went right across the street. I was looking the wrong way. Uh, but yeah, thankfully, I don't think I've ever seen anyone get stuck in a spot in this game. Like, she's really. You would think that she'd be suspicious that the red bird keeps following her around, staring at her, but. Uh, but yeah, like, I've never seen anyone, like, stuck in an animation. Like, I've never had it where, like, for example, she would just stand there in that alley, which may not be the worst. I don't know if these people actually count as people like I don't know if they're able to notice you doing stuff I don't want to pull out my knife unless I get really close to her but since I already saw the cop go through here oh he stood up oh oh thank god all right okay so I'll drag her body away Because at least then they won't be alerted by a dead body. They'll just find blood. And they'll be worried but not uh, like fully alert. Okay, got the briefcase. And you know what? Taking my suit back. Uh, nope. Okay, there we go. Got the diamonds. Uh, as long as the... Nope. Sneak by him. Then time to exit and challenge complete. All three targets, melee killed with a knife, on professional. 
Uh, no detection. Oh, yeah, see, he found the bodies, though. But that's fine. I'm out of here. I'm counting it. I am gone. And now I'm rich because I have a briefcase full of diamonds. Did fuck up a little bit. Uh, three kills, three close combat, caught on camera, no witnesses, cover blown. Oh, look at that. I didn't even get cover blown. Uh, and I made it out fast enough that those bodies, those two bodies that that cop found didn't even count as being found. Awesome. No noise, no violence. 23 minutes. Uh, it's a couple of retries, but 23 minutes. Good. Professional rating. Probably because I used a knife and not accident kills, I would imagine. Uh, and I made 570,000 bucks. Although I don't think, yeah, I don't actually get that since I've already beat the game on professional. After you beat the game, the only way you can get uh, more money is by getting one of the special. Raymond Kalinsky, kill, Kalinsky killed, police suspect. Oh yeah, because that Raymond, the sniper and the other dude was, er, and the chick was like married or something. But all right, challenge complete. Uh, if you want to issue a challenge to me, just leave it in the comments below. Uh, the only requirements for the challenge is they have to be doable within like one video. Like if it's, it can't be like beat a game without doing, you know, X or beat a game only doing X. Uh, it has to be something real quick like this where it's like kill these three guys with a knife. Well, I say quick, it still took me all, like, close to three quarters of an hour, I guess. But yeah, and then next week, I will pick one of the challenges that I think will be the most fun to do and do it. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.